Hello again, everyone. This is Blackbird Seven. Let's continue to play Sonic Four, Episode Two. So last time, we managed to get away from the industrialized zone and oil rigs of Oil Desert, and it's a name, Oil Desert, and especially that one section of I think it was Act Two where just the obvious of things, just to get out of, of a tricky situation. And wasting awful lives in the process for doing something that should be entirely obvious. But anyway, let's move on, progress through the story, and Sonic and Tails head up to the skies in, in continuing their pursuit of the evil Dr. Eggman himself, and soon find themselves facing against Eggman's huge fleet in the sky in Sky Fortress Zone. So without further ado, Let's get the action going! Alright, let's get to it! Sky Fortress Zone Act 1. Looks like we got ourselves a little cutscene, so... Enjoy it! Yeah, a little surprise entrance there on the Sonic. So, as you can see, this act, the team's guy aboard Team's Tornado, controls are quite straightforward, other than square button to break through obstacles. In this case, they're actually blocks, giant blocks held up in the sky. Well, first time played here in Sky Fortress Zone, I was actually playing cooperatively with uh, my little cousin. I was actually uh, actually kind of did better. I think I was I'm not sure, or probably we took turns in between. I was playing as I was playing as Tails most of the time, especially in the, the tornado missions. Especially, and also that boss against Metal Sonic, so uh, the boy isn't playing this cooperatively, play, uh, making this level pull quite more easy. Especially the little boss session as we will against Metal Sonic as I will come to later. You know, the positive thing is that you don't have to really rely on Sonic to take down... Oh my gosh, there's a little group section here before you continue. Pretty straightforward. Essentially just, as you see now, just all the rings. Also, this this level, especially to turn to the, this act, I mean, there's a couple set of obstacles. For a microcells out of screen. Another good chance to get another uh, good opportunity to get extra lives in this act. Should you not be a little careless in the following so many times, of course. You know, the enemies are being thrown at you. Get a little more cautious. Oh shoot, I guess the old stuff. Let me go back. There you go. Yeah, speaking of my first my first play of oh, yeah, shoot have some lasers coming in. Now those you can't touch, obviously. At least on the positive side, um Tails is I mean the tornado is actually quite durable. You don't have to really worry about getting shot down or really have to worry about something not getting out and getting knocked out of or shoot. Ooh, right there. Of course the tornado itself, it could could take on. I mean, should you just you could just simply fly across several enemies and then you could just simply finish them up right there instead of relying on. I always I always end up taking the top route for some reason. So I don't know if I got that right now. Set of obstacles. What kind of sucks though um, is that um, perhaps only for this little portion of. Of the act only, as well as the most the, the boss against Metal Sonic. Um, using the barrel roll, 
and it's a square button in this case. Um, just as a little like a little boost to avoid enemies. It's actually quite not really that useful because I should probably have probably observed when um, did the boost earlier to get that little extra life, which is actually quite easy to get. Um, Tail spells down. He has a little like dizzy icon. He's up stars. He's kind of working out. He's really dizzy. Oh shoot. Just oh shoot. No. Don't fall. No! I don't know. I wonder how many rings I have. It's kind of... <laughs> ah, Tails. This section is only one of those little manual sections. Proceed with caution. In this little act with a very quite scenic view from the background. Right. Like a little trigger like form right there. Of course you don't go really fast enough. Come on, I think I'll be didn't lock on! Wow. Uh. Don't tell me this is like another session where I end up getting stuck. Wasting so many minutes just trying to get across. Remember the first time I played Sonic Heroes in uh, what's the final what's the final two sets of stages? Oh ooh. <laughs> oh shoot! No! Now I have no idea what I was thinking there. Okay. Now those little <laughs> oh, that's even there. now those cannonballs are the ones that you could actually um repel out as I as I kind of as I first uh, thrown down first playing the stage. Yeah, I accidentally flew. Uh, I think I was playing. I think I was playing. I very likely was playing as Tails at this time. Because it's playing Sonic. Um, he just accidentally, while well, trying to dodge the cannonball, he accidentally, he just actually, um, probably accidentally, um, just uh, jumped towards the cannonball. Thought he got hit in these couple rings and bosses, but it actually damaged Metal Sonic in the process. So, uh, and this little, and, and of course, those cannonballs, essentially, what this, what this, oh, God, okay, let's get back in there. It's like, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to Oh, come on! Uh, thought I could make it. <laughs> and I have to start all the way back in this section again. Oh, boy. I think I'm gonna fall so many times. Get stuck. I said, hopefully, not get stuck. Yeah, otherwise, if you don't... I think after a set amount of time, depending on... Ooh, I actually got him, that guy. Yeah, depending on the set amount, depending on the... On the... You haven't, like, if you don't, if you don't finish off Metal Sonic's ship... Because in the end, because in the end, at the end of this portion, it's like essentially a long battle against him. Uh, Metal Sonic, where he'll just continue firing um, plenty of shots, of, uh, plenty of shots at you, and got some opportunities to repel to repel repulse, or destroy the ship with those cannonballs he's firing at you, as well as the enemies that uh, happen to appear. A little turtle ship. No, I didn't even notice that little turtle thing. A little turtle robot got destroyed by the. Back end of tornado. Ooh, chance right there. Pretty good chance. <laughs> I mean, should you should you finish Metal Sonic, then you get the first level. Oh, one there. Ah, I thought I missed that. Chances. Be patient. Oh shoot, ah. Let's time that one. Let's go into a little farther. I you know I can get that cannonball. Ah! Okay, living with zero rings. Hopefully I don't get 
burn in the process of those little lasers. Check the cannon. There you go. Oh, Trouble combo right there. <laughs> really impeccable. Oh, finish him off. I finished off this early before. Huh. Metal Sonic Falls. Oh, boy, boy, have I earned that trophy that I memory? Whoa, look at that huge time bonus. So probably, I guess, I guess you would have, I guess you would have to finish off Metal Sonic Heroes of Progress, but I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I did first time I played with my cousin. Just kind of essentially dodged and whatnot. Just told my little cousin, speaking of my younger cousin. Uh, he also enjoys playing the Sonic the Hedgehog series of games, especially more uh, recent ones. She hasn't played Sonic 2006, maybe like Sonic Heroes and But he's more of a he's more of a fan of Mario. He, he has like a he uh he's still focused on uh, finishing off uh, What's the name of that uh go to uh, so bright there? <laughs> Damn, okay, get up there. Get up there. What's the name of the the? the uh, he has a 3DS. What's the name of the of the, the most recent Mario game on the 3DS? Not not no the new Super Mario Brothers series games. Not not Mario. Not uh, that Mario and Luigi uh, Dream Team thing. Oh come on, come on. Jeez. He has more of a Mario fan than anything else. Although he also enjoys playing. Sonic games. It's more, more, it's more, more. Probably it's like a more, more uh, easy going kind of uh, platform. You know, you know to, to be honest, uh, as for me, I mean, as long as the platform, as long as it's good, as long as it's fun to play, I enjoy playing the game. Now, there's a path, 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 Ball, chickens and ten balls. Reminds me of the first time I played the fifth world. I think it was the fifth world of uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. Now, now the medium. Now I never, I never played on an original, original uh, Nintendo entertainment, uh, original NES. And uh, so, I'll show him more of those little rockets. Kind of a little weird position to orange you with one with rockets. I don't know why it's being dashed right there, but. Because <laughs> Fallen Game and PlayStation, my next console, and this is my first pocket console, my first pocket console is the uh, Ocean. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those little, uh, things that I didn't see right there, just kills down first. Mesh! My mesh! Trains fly! Oh, I'm sure it's <laughs> Um... Oh, what was, what was I talking about earlier? Oh, yes. Got my first, uh... Oh, okay. Tricky spot right here. Period of concentration. Yeah, my first pocket console was a Game Boy Color. And what? I'm stuck into a. Uh... Oh, come on. I'm stuck into a. Uh... <sighs> yeah, there's Sonic. And my first game for the Game Boy Color was actually a Bug's Life. <laughs> I remember when I was younger. Um, I was just so scared of like losing a life and dying. Like I couldn't, of course, being like you know. Oh come on, don't fall down! <laughs> Thank you, platform. <laughs> Jeez, didn't expect a miracle. Didn't expect. Didn't expect a drop. Oh, I'm falling off the little... Um, 
wall running session. I remember playing Bug Slide when I was so young. I always, I, I was just so scared not to die. And oh, this is the end. Okay, two more acts to go. As as Sonic and Tails get into pursuit with Doctor Eggman. And anyway, that's what I was saying right here. And boy, don't I like that number? <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Total score. <laughs> Old thing with numbers. Yeah, I remember Bugs Live first time playing as a little kid. Just so scared of of just getting damaged and uh, or just dying, losing life. Oh, and then uh, I couldn't get past like, and this is the Game Boy version of Bugs Live. I was just like so scared to get past of all the obstacles that make up the third level, and I just like you know kind of like stop playing from there and just uh, watch my my, my dad. Just finished the game for me, you know. <laughs> well, you know what to expect when you're so little, so naive. I'm naive. You don't really understand what exactly you're doing. Oh shit. Should... Should the spot to get there and go in on the left, maybe? Okay, that's you know what. No! Oh, a little platform to spot. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Just need to get burned. Okay, good. I don't have a lot of rockets here, I guess. I could have gone invincible in the other one. Go across without it. Alright. I really like the little scene in the back of the sunset. Oh. I thought it was a wall. It's actually the back side of the loop. <laughs> so why am I going through a wall? This is a little technicality in this game. No glitch hunter. The glitch is just so many times I'm like, what the heck just happened? No oh, shit, don't fall! Not there. No, what am I doing? No, don't fall! No, no, not the wrong time to ask for the wrong combo! No! Uh. Uh. Oh, a little button happy right there. Very little elastic side to see the little. Sunset background there. Do something that was there. Especially after you come home like a, say a uh, airplane flight to uh, when you when you arrive at some time in the evening, you see a beautiful scene in the background, projected by all well, that sunlight, sun just setting from the horizon. Beautiful sight. There are fighters and lasers. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got ourselves a long fight, speaking of which. Try this little homing attack start, a little bit burn crosses, alright. Good. Yeah, you don't really have to. All you have to do is just get a little good uh, jump dash start, and you don't have to really worry about um, having tails fly all the way. Oh shoot! No! Oh, looks like a little jump dash a little too far. <laughs> of course, the easy way to go across uh, across the gap, and you have tails with you. It's a little do a little jump dash. And tails take the climb from there. So a little ascension. After a little ascension. Descension. Now it's 
series of those. Damn, Tails. <laughs> so I go a little. <laughs> go towards his enemies. Oh, I didn't see that cannonball, damn it. Back to World 5 of the, of the original Super Mario Brothers. I don't think I've. I don't think I've. I, I, think, I think I've finished touching that, haven't I? I think really. Touch them in fact, first, my first game was the Ghost Life. Yeah, well, the first time I played New Super Mario, the original Super Mario Bros. was actually through, uh, um, oh shoot. Oh, got some no, 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 okay, good, good, good. Hope they could get up, or not. Oh, come on, up, there you go. Yeah, speaking of which, the first time I played, and why don't you look at a little lovely red ring right there, shiny red ring. Sorry, red ring, but you have to neglect you this time. Oh, shoot, no! Damn! How did I not see that sign on the bottom? No! Oh boy, isn't Tails willing to go along? <laughs> not willing to uh, let his friend go by and go along. Willing to uh, what's the word? Go along. Speaking of which, I just want to watch Sonic Sacrifice let Tails sacrifice himself just let him survive. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Reminds me of one of those uh, Sonic shorts. Alright. Probably turn this to fall or not. Crap. Damn it. Okay, good example to read the sign before you, or or to look out for a stop sign before you go, or if you still find yourself getting a parking or a little driving ticket, should you be reckless that way, or an awesome example to let's just say in a test to read directions or instructions in some some sort of a, a just say I don't know recipe or whatnot. Read directions before you do anything. Little steak and ball conversation right there. Now we stop for a sign. Now it asks us to do do a rolling combo. Boy, it didn't. The three signs didn't, didn't tell me to do not to not do the rolling combo. To do the rolling combo, and I didn't do the rolling combo. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A little like a little, a little thing in the end. A little disengaged, a little rolling combo. For proceeding on. Boss battle time, here we go. Showdown is guy, squire is guy, squai, squai. Yeah, that's definitely what squai. Sky Fortress Zone. And the opponent, I'll watch all those lasers come out of this. I'm gonna follow with my laser. And what other opponent will come against them other than Mel Sonic and his reconstructed, probably new ship? Now, playing the, playing, playing the entirety of Sky Fortress Zone with a cousin, this boss this actually, is actually kind of breezed through the boss quite easy because. I, I think I was, yeah, I think I was, I was Tails, and, uh, It's actually quite, oh, come on, how can I not slow down? Damn, you Sonic, you just have to accelerate Now, this is the problem of why, of how tough it is, and how tricky it is to try to, to control both Tails and Sonic, but, except, that, that, that uh, you're in control of both Tails and Sonic, but, Fortunately, Tails' movement is, is limited to what you control, what you control as Sonic, what you can control as Sonic. Come on, Sonic. Whoa! Did that get him? I don't know. I don't see that weak spot as well. No, Sonic is in the top pit. Playing this on a cousin boy wasn't this pretty easy. Let's see if we could do the barrel roll. Oh shit! Speaking of which, Tails stalls and then they just suddenly decelerate. 
though. Yeah, spin dash is not really gonna do as just as you do this. It's like breaking. So you shoot! Damn it! Come on, get the blow! Oh, there you go. Oh, we survived really. At least the ring, at least there's plenty of rings to keep you alive, actually. It's coming up fast and you damn it! Damn it. Yeah, this boss make it easier to go. Oh, shoot! Damn it! No! I'm telling you, I'll be stuck here forever. It's because I have a hard time controlling these two. It's when Sonic past those lasers. I to get shot here, especially the fact that Sonic has a little celebration following the spin dash and barrel roll is no use. Do a barrel roll, but no use. Pointless. Whereas going two player, you know, one player's tail is just move all over the place. It's like moving your cursor and giving a mouse on a computer. You're that fast. The only problem is not letting whoever playing Sonic suddenly fall down, fall off the ship. Barrel roll attempt. Well, I thought I'd dodge off. I dodge off. Main barrel roll attempt in main. So probably just only have running and jump dash and spin. And a spin dash that could get him. Wow! That was a fail that was a fail jump dash. Ugh. Only had another player to help me in right here. But that would just that just me right now. So, so much easier to play than this cooperatively. Yeah, that was a new pass. You shot! Damn it! That chance. Oh, how quick Sonic is selling this. Shot! It's a little trivia to know he's upright. No! No! Get shot! Oh, okay, great. Actually, he's still on top of Metal Sonic's head. <laughs> he actually was in the top of the one. Oh, crap, coming at me really fast! No! Damn it. Don't have a ship, I guess. Oh! Please. Let's get this zone out of the way. I'm gonna get stuck here. So, in the final act of Mad Gear and his useless deaths, the second act of the Desert, or something that's so obvious. I just, no, I don't, I don't think you can. You can't just suddenly. I like in Smash Brothers, where it's like, you know, you have a little copper pop of you and that. And such space in the are just a simple. Press start and uh, so right there. Get a little friendly play. Let's go purely. Come on. Okay. Hopefully, whatever the, the heck of the computer is loading at this inconvenient time, hopefully it's not going to affect how the frames are running this video. Well, well, in case of that possibility, well, I'll, I'll soon see you as soon as I finish editing this this portion. I'll be rendering it in the upload. Should there be any like a little, like, should the frame gets a little jumpy? It should be a little jumpy. Sorry about the convenience, but apparently my computer's been a douche lately. Oh wow! What a convenient, what a convenient time to ask for a little update. Isn't it happy? Time to update iTunes. I hope it does. I hope it's not like a cool one. It's not like a jump frame. No, it probably stopped loading it. I could. We have no stone paper for this. Oh! We're actually in this portion already? I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know that it would take so many hits. Shot. Oh, 
a few later. Yeah, we definitely want to get a good shot down the left one. Wow, wrong target. Shot! There you go. Oh shoot. Once again, that tornado is surely durable on the little lasers. Oh shoot, what the? How did I get hit? Oh. Was it a laser or was it one of those little, uh, those little uh, bird robot things? What? How did I got a hit? Alright, there goes no Sonic, and I bet this is probably the final phase of this old sheet from the giant rockets. Stalled missiles. It's not gonna mount. Finish him off on a good shot! There! Do a barrel roll! Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Fly away! Watch the ship. Tumble down. Boy, isn't they gonna have so many investments just continue making nothing much more. But who gives a crap about those things anyway? <laughs> this is Sonic the Hedgehog, who cares about what you can have a little world that they live in. That's your version of Planet Earth, though. Probably as most of you long time fans can probably identify or consider Mobius a name. I wonder what Sonic. Well, I wonder what Sonic Team's intention is to make it like an alternate Earth, or probably name a different planet called Mobius. What do you guys think? Would you call it the planet? You know, I should like like a little tool, a little tool right there. <laughs> a little eight in the middle. One one eight one one. Now what was I talking about? Oh. <laughs> what impeccable timing. Just like any other simplistic um, hero versus evil kind of story. Just wants to make that final escape. Oh, anyway. It appears! Revealed! Death Egg! Mark 2 Zone! The final zone to conclude them all. Conclude the story. Speaking of which, probably it was the same death thing that I found out I found for the first time. <laughs> I didn't see a death thing when it, when it first battled Metal Sonic in White Park. And about that one question I was about to say mentioned earlier, um, well, what, would, what, would, what do you fans consider called the planet that, in which the Sonic the, Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog series takes place in? Mobius? As so as in, uh, probably was, I think it was in Jerusalem, like, in the media for North America as well as Europe, and of course as well as the little, the little uh, cartoon and comics that uh, that promote the series, or Earth as implied probably I think it was Winston Sonic Adventure two that which the, the the planet Earth is the planet of uh, which the, the Sonic the Hedgehog series takes place. Because me, to be honest, being I always associate Mobius to that of a little comic idea. I don't read the comics anyway. I'm not really interested in the series. More of a one guy who's really more focused into the, the main game canon than anything. Uh, no, of course the stories, the stories there in the comic are actually pretty interesting, but uh, no second choice. Whatever Sonic Team produces here, the main canon 
So yeah, if you have to ask me, I also have to go with an alternate version of Earth rather than Mobius. It all depends on how one how one wants to bring it. Anyway, it's close to right here. So next up on Sony 4 Episode 2, we conclude showdown between Sonic and Tails and Dr. Eggman and Metal Sonic and the reconstructed Death Egg. Simply remarked Death Egg Mark 2. So so once again, this is Black for 7. Until next time, off for your scene. Hope I said I hope I said that right.